Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Rose, audiologist here at House Clinic at the Satellite in Orange. So now I'm going to talk about the different types of hearing loss. The first one is called conductive hearing loss. Conductive hearing loss happens when sound cannot get through this part or this part, so the outer and the middle ear. The nerve and the cochlea are working fine, but for whatever reason, sound waves cannot travel through. One of the most common causes of conductive hearing loss is impacted earwax or cerumen in the ear canal. If you use Q-tips every day, you could be pushing wax further and further into the canal, causing an earwax plug. So you'll need to see the otologist so they can take that out safely. The other kind of hearing loss that we have is called sensory neural. Sensory neural is happening either in the cochlea or in the nerve itself. So sound waves get through this part just fine, but then when it hits here, something goes wrong. Either the hair cells aren't working or the nerve is not firing properly. The third type of hearing loss is a mixture between the two. It's called mixed hearing loss. So it usually has a conductive component within the middle ear and a sensory neural component as well. At house, we can treat both of those things. Sometimes putting in a hearing aid can overcome both of those situations and help to communicate that information to the nerve. When a hearing aid will no longer help at the nerve level, we have an alternative solution called a cochlear implant. Now I'll talk about some of the different causes of hearing loss. Number one is aging. So over time, we lose the sensory cells in our ear from exposure. Uh, this happens also just as a genetic factor of aging. Even quiet tribes in Papua New Guinea have some amount of high frequency hearing loss at the end of the lifespan, and they have no industrial or recreational noise exposure. The other thing that we can also be in more control of from gaining hearing loss is noise exposure in general. So make sure to wear your ear protection when you go to loud concerts or do any loud recreational activities. Other causes of hearing loss can include things like ear infections, abnormal bony growths, uh, also medications. Sometimes when we are going through cancer treatments, the medications that they give us to save our life can sometimes impact our hearing. So if you are a cancer patient and you're going through treatment, if you have any increased ringing or tinnitus in your ears, make sure that you say something to your oncologist so that they can start putting you on a regimen of hearing tests to see if there's any possible way that they can preserve the hearing by either changing your medication schedule or actual medications themselves. Another cause of hearing loss is a benign tumor called an acoustic neuroma or sometimes a vestibular schwannoma, depending on which branch of the nerve it's affecting. Sometimes it affects the nerve only leaving the balance organ. Sometimes it affects the nerve only leaving the hearing organ. And sometimes it affects the nerve where both of those are joined up and you will have symptoms in both areas. Another cause of hearing loss can be trauma to the head or to the ear itself. So that's something that is usually sudden in nature and should be addressed right away. Another cause of hearing loss is uh, an inner ear disorder known as Meniere's disease. This is usually accompanied by some buzzing tinnitus, a fullness in the ear, and also hearing loss, and vertigo. If you ever experience a sudden change in hearing, it is very important that you get to your otologist and audiologist immediately so that you can have your hearing tested and possibly be treated for the sudden hearing loss. 